Hi there and welcome in Spain. I'm happy you're joining us again and um, we are traveling as you see. The weather is fantastic. It's 18 degrees right now, so it's wonderful. In this video, I will show you some pages from my brand new travel art journal. It's the blue edition from Dynawalkly and I love this version because there are jeans in it and that's blue. So I'm very into blue right now. And the place we are now is called uh, Cartagena in the Murcia region. And we've been here for already a week. That gave us time to work a little on YouTube videos and make lovely walks uh, through uh, blossom fields, almond blossoms and of course to do some art journaling. I started with creating a map and this is not a realistic map, it's an inner map and it's sometimes overlapping the reality and sometimes showing the places that we've actually been to but most of the names of towns are just my inner world and um, this is where we started Blanco, the beginning of a new journey and it was in the Netherlands very cold and uh, we wanted to hide from the winter but it was very hard to do because we have to cross um, Belgium, Luxembourg and France and it was snowing there and frosty and we were even a bit ill uh, because it was very cold in the camper when we were driving we had no heater on so we first had to go through this part to get to warmer places. So, but it's also in this wintry thing, the looking forward to things to be born, like songs and about to cross, uh, looking forward. Um, and then there's a sea of inner peace because you have a lot of time to think about things when you are driving and when you're not too ill and um, it was okay and what well, we were really packed with a lot of clothes and blankets around us while driving. As soon as we been to Spain the weather was already very good, 80 degrees already in the south of France so that was very good um, but still not time to our journal. I also integrated some places we've been to in reality on this map. So this is the Ebro Delta, the wetlands, and I created a full spread from the area. It was a very weird place in summer or from April on they grow rice here and there are lakes or well water, fields of water, but in winter time it's quite grey and bare and it's well not really great but we had great expectations to see flamingos we haven't seen any so that's why i called it paradise paradox and there was a lot of well empty space and this is the page i created i dedicated on the whole thing so a watery landscape with clouds and the unseen flamingos and here are some more. I drawn this once uh, from a reference picture that I uh, got from my brother-in-law and I wrote a song about this place. It was a long time ago that I've been writing songs. I think it's 10 years ago that I completed a song and so I was very proud to have this as this was actually my uh, my second song that I wrote and it's all about that place. So I wanted to put that in the art journal as well. And after visiting this weird place, we moved on to Peniscola, uh, which is in summertime a very touristic place. And in winter it's, well, empty, almost empty. There were a lot of campers though. And I fell in love with the patterns on the fences and walls that they were, they were all around the streets, um, hotels. It was great to see those, but I had trouble to 
uh, draw them on the jeans. So I had to find another way. I think I, I'm going to make little cutouts from paper and then create the patterns because I have a lot of more, a lot more of them. Cats, uh, stars, uh, kind of eyes. And we walked over the boulevard many times and we stayed there for a weekend and it was a great place to be. I also put those beaches on a map. And you see this map isn't completed yet, so every time there's something new I will add it and maybe I will even um, add a new page when this isn't enough for the whole journey. From the beaches we went to the, I call it Orange Town. So this place was called Linova and there were a lot of windy hilly roads and we get up and we found a spot nearby a playground. This is what we saw all along the road. It was so cool. So many orange trees and so many oranges falling on the ground. Already in Peniscola there was a, a guy and he sold um, oranges. He just walked alongside all the campers and asked, do you want oranges? And it was five kilogram and it was just three euros. So it was very cheap. So this page was dedicated to the Orange Town and I wanted to write a song about that or a poem maybe and that will be here in this um, space, in this area. Uh, and also I have to create a net for around the, um, the oranges, but uh, maybe I will put a real net uh, around them. Um, I have to see, maybe I do it at home when I have a small red pencil or green pencil. This was a lovely orange juice that we uh, actually got on the place where we are right now. And these are just small pieces of fabric that I thought that would be nice to match with the page. Actually, I haven't been art journaling for until then. So we wanted to stay somewhere for a bit longer. So we stayed for just one night in an orange town and we went to another place where we could stay for a couple of days. And we found a lovely location uh, on the domain of a Dutch family who bought a house in Spain in the place Buzot. And it was a lovely little village and we finally had some time to work and do some art journaling, work on YouTube videos and it's always uh, a bit of a challenge to find what's the best thing to do on a day when it's sunny uh, it's great to work in your journal because then you can work uh, on several pages at the same time. It dries very easily. So I decided to create some backgrounds and work on, work them out later on. Also, we want to see uh, our surroundings. We want to enjoy our holiday. So it's, uh, we love walking. We love visiting nice places, uh, see some villages. So it's always a bit of a challenge. What are we going to do on a particular day? So it's good to have a couple of days time to have some rest and decide. And in the end, it's all OK if you do it with full attention. That's also a thing I discovered. Uh, you can't do all. You can't do everything on one day. The, these four pages I created in uh, just one day and some of them I worked out when I was here at the place where we are right now. This was a kind of abstract page also uh, it started that way and I added some uh, dried flowers and it was a remarkable thing because uh, we watered them we had a leftover water and then the next day they looked like this like blue flowers and I created some patterns. Uh, I added this flower, which I also used in my online class, Weaving and Unraveling. And I found these flowers later on at another place. Um, I will tell you about it more in the next video. And here is um, a little quote. The more honest you listen to the voices within yourself, the better you hear the noises from the outside. 
An extra challenge is that in winter time, the, do the days are very short. It gets dark at, well, I think at seven it's, it's dark and then you're not able to work. Uh, at least I am not able to work anymore. And when it's cloudy, then it's also a bit more difficult to work for me. Then I have to go into the van or when it's windy. So it's good to prepare my background pages. That's also what I've been doing for this one, for example. I created a lot of backgrounds that are not finished yet, but I just can continue then whatever the weather will be like or whatever it's evening or... So the next time I will add some things to the map definitely and I hope you're watching then again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm looking forward to see where we are the next time. It's always changing. So I hope you're joining me. Bye bye.